Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. Today, we'll talk about Mycobacterium leprae diagnosis and treatment, because in previous videos, we talked about the actual disease called leprosy. Recall that we have two types of leprosy, tuberculoid leprosy versus lepromatous leprosy. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Mycobacterium leprae is an immotile, aerobic, non-spore-forming gram-positive rod. While it does not stain well with gram stain, it's anatomically gram-positive. It has a similar cell wall. Mycobacteria have long chain mycolic acid, and that's why they are strongly acid-fast, i.e. acid-resistant. Two types of leprosy, we talked about them before. We have the tuberculoid leprosy, few bacteria but strong immunity, versus lepromatous leprosy, many bacteria versus weak immunity. Which one has the granuloma? The answer is tuberculoid leprosy because of the strong T cell immunity. Making a granuloma is a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction where the T lymphocytes activate the macrophages. Mycobacterium leprae, lots of mycolic acid, long chain, that's why they are acid fast. Don't forget they are unculturable on artificial media. The way to confirm the diagnosis is with the lepromin test for tuberculoid leprosy or biopsying the tissue in lepromatous leprosy. Pause and review. If tuberculoid leprosy has strong cell-mediated immunity and therefore granulomas, how can we diagnose it? Skin test, lepromin skin test. This is a granuloma formation. If you find the induration, boom, you have your diagnosis. But hi, medicosis, how can I confirm the diagnosis of lepromatous leprosy since I have no granuloma here? Well, we cannot rely on the skin test. Instead, we can rely on the fact that we have many bacteria and we can see them under the microscope after tissue biopsy. What kind of stain will we use? An acid fast stain. Let's talk about treatment, tuberculoid leprosy, Use rifampin and dapsone together. How about lepromatous leprosy? Rifampin and dapsone and another medication, clofazamine. The treatment of tuberculoid leprosy is usually for six months, but for the more severe lepromatous leprosy is 12 months. Knowing that, what do you think is the most common cause of treatment failure? Answer medication non-compliance try doing the same habit every day for 12 months it is very difficult where have i heard of dapsone before it's one of the medications that can trigger a hemolytic anemia if you have g6pd deficiency disease glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency dapsone is one of the oxidative stressors among other antibiotics among fava beans among other medications, but still the most common stressor for G6PD is infections. Where else have I heard of Dapsone before? It's the treatment of the brown recluse spider bite. You might think, oh, it's just a spider in the attic, no big deal. Before you know it, doctors are giving you Dapsone, the same medication used to treat leprosy. By the way, this slide is taken from my emergency medicine high yields course available to download at my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. Let's review leprosy from Picmonic, mycobacterium leprae. Myco, here's the mic. Leprae, here's the leopard. We have two types, tuberculoid versus lepromatous leprosy. Tuberculoid has granuloma, granny, lama, but lepromatous does not. How can I treat tuberculoid leprosy. You need rifampin, the referee, dapsone, the diaper sun for six months. As for lepromatous leprosy, you still need rifampin plus dapsone plus clofazamine, the clover fez. To learn more about rifampin, other antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications, download my antibiotics course on my website. I also have a surgery high yields course and an emergency medicine high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.